Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome to more WWE 2K20, ladies and gentlemen, and today is an historic day. Um, so, for many reasons, by the way. So, uh, let me explain how this all came about. Um, so... The other day, I happened to grind away at the trophies for the Platinum. And one of the trophies requires you to complete a tournament with damage retention. Well, I decided to do a tournament for a vacant championship. Alright? I managed to win the tournament. The whole daggone thing. All the way straight through for a vacant championship. Which happened to be the SmackDown Women's Championship. Now, here's where it gets funny. The SmackDown Women's Championship is only supposed to be defended one-on-one, -on -one, women versus women. Woman versus woman, excuse me. Um, well, apparently... <laughs> I'm sorry if I laugh throughout me trying to tell this story because this is just absolutely hilarious. The game is already freaking broken as it is but somehow this ain't it chief because somehow I managed to defend the Smackdown Women's Championship against the male superstar or at least 2k decided to have a male superstar challenge me for the Smackdown Women's Championship so I don't know if this is a glitch or if I managed to break the game <laughs> even further as if the game is not already broken, but today, we, I can't believe I'm going to say this, but we are bringing you the first ever intergender tables match for the SmackDown Women's Championship as Kristen Murphy will defend the SmackDown Women's Championship. <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this against the Scottish psychopath Drew McIntyre now before y'all go blowing up the comments and my Twitter saying oh you're trying to hate on intergender wrestling okay I'm not hating on intergender wrestling okay that that's not my style, alright? I'm actually a fan of intergender wrestling. And the way it's being presented today versus the way it was presented in the Attitude Era, I think is freaking amazing. I mean, the fact that Impact is having Tessa Blanchard challenge Sammy Callahan for the Impact World Championship, that's amazing. But the fact that this is even happening in a WWE game... <laughs> How is this even possible? I mean, I, the game's already broken. The game's already buggy as it is. But then this happens? Come on, 2K. You don't see intergender matches take place in WWE the, these days. And yet, somehow, this managed to make it into the game? How? Oh, my God. So, in... You all, as you're seeing right now during this matchup, uh, Drew McIntyre is basically defenseless. He, There's nothing he can really do. He can't throw a punch. He can't go for a grapple. He can't go for nothing. So basically, you can go Super Cena all over his ass. All right? This is how funny this is. Well, well that time he finally caught Kristen with a clothesline right there, but... <laughs> I mean, this is just, so, to give you all a bit of a tip, in case you all go come across this, uh, don't ever do a tournament for a vacant championship. Do a King of the Ring tournament. Do a Dusty Earth's Tag Team Classic tournament. Do any other tournament but a tournament for a vacant championship. Otherwise, you will have an ender gender match. All right, that that's just how it is right now. This is how broken the game is. Uh, but if you do happen to come across this, uh, good luck trying to do a normal match or a submission match because the referee won't count the pinfall or ring the bell for a submission. So the best tip I can give y'all.
do either a tables match or a ladder match and you should be able to complete this match easily and if it, the trophy does not pop then then just do what I did and simulate the rest of the tournament ladies and gentlemen so with that being said I hope this was helpful information to y'all uh, hope you all enjoyed this video for all of us at Patrick McSparren Productions this is Patrick McSparren saying so long and 2k I swear to God you all need to fix this game ASAP have a good day everyone